Hello, good afternoon fun seekers, how are you all doing? Hope you're all fine and dandy and uh, enjoying the nice little bit of uh, good weather we've been having lately. A uh, few little updates really, a few happenings on the bike, cleaned all the brake calipers out, got all that sorted, thanks to Delboy for that one. Uh, what else have we done? Um, and then had an incident on the A1. Don't worry, nobody's hurt or anything. And I didn't come off. Uh, but I was coming down the A1 and... Oh, my lights went out. Uh, and it was part of the A1, that's the motorway. Um, that doesn't have any lights on. And I was plunged into, well, basically side lights. Uh, about 70 at night and uh, completely shit myself. <laughs> I don't think I've been so scared in all the years I've been riding bikes. <laughs> anyway, I give my headlight a bash and it came back on, luckily. Um, and uh, so today we've had it to bits to see what went wrong because it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the bulge or anything. It was a wiring issue. Now. I don't know if you can see this, we're over here, I've made a makeshift little thing over the front of the bike so I can sit comfortably and work on the uh, headlamp and whatnot. Um, basically, they've always been terrible, these Suzuki connectors, and uh, two of the terminals inside of one of them had corroded, basically, and that was it. Uh, but because that one had corroded, you can't use your high beam, your normal beam, your low beam, your high beam switch doesn't work either, so if your normal beam, you know, cuts off on the, uh, it's the yellow wire on there. Um, if something happens to that yellow wire, it chafes, it breaks. It also cuts your high beam, which ain't a great situation. Also, the guy that's put this, uh, you know, one of these twin head dominator jobbies on before me, had made a right pig's ear. Um, I've not videoed the me fixing it. This is not my fixing. This is what he's done. Um, but I've had that to bits and put it back together again. And it seems it looks a mess, but it it it, it is all doing its job. And there's uh, I've cleaned out all the terminals. It was in fact in here, and uh, this as well was a, in a sorry state. And that was my side lights. Um, so now we're all hopefully. Now we're all working, and no matter how much jiggling we do with any of the wires, we don't get no flashy flashy, we're, we're pretty safe. Uh, so that's that problem sorted, I've just got to get it all back in there. Um, I now know why I didn't particularly want this screen, uh, because I do want the screen, that's 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 not the truth. Uh, I, I, I want to put it on when I need to use it and take it off when I don't need to use it. I don't need it for every day at work. Um, I've never been a big fan of screens, to be honest. But there you go, that's all ready and back together. Also, what I need to do now is uh, is my speedo clock uh, lamps also gone, which um, is not great, because if you go into a dark place, you can't really uh, see what speed you're doing, And uh, although I don't look at it a lot. You should, shouldn't you really? So uh, we'll crack on with that and uh, um, I'm presuming, I'm just looking, I have no idea, but I'm presuming speedo cable needs to come out. There looks like an Allen bolt here to release that. Got a spare lamp. Okay then. Let's have a zippity do down and see what's going on there. We need an Allen key, it looks about 4 mil. You want 4 mil? Nice and tight. That looks like what the Allen key is. Put that to one side. Speed up, Brad. Get that off. As I say, I've never taken one of these apart before. I'm so it might all go wrong, but you know, you learn if you don't. Oh, nice and nice and well oiled in there, which is good. Just push that round the corner there and grab our rag. A little red, the nast, pink. Okay, uh, what do we reckon? That's going to have to come off, or will it fit through? Oh no, it'll slide around, I think. So, formal Allen key on the back. 
Who knows? That's good. Bit of swarf on that. I don't know why anybody would tighten that with too tight. Well, I suppose it keeps the condensation out. Let's see whether we need to take any more bolts off. Right, there's two Allen keys here. That's not going to slide off because it fits around there. I think it's a speedo completely off job. Is there four as well? They are. Yeah, a bit of a moment there on the old A1. Brown trousers at the ready. But it's, it's one of them things. You couldn't really have... Couldn't really have written that one. Oh, that's see, the whole speedo comes off when I take these off. Do we want to do this? Well, we've committed ourselves now. Okay. What's going on here then? I only want that bit. The lot wants to come off. There we go. Carefully slide that back. Ah, there's two in it. Ah, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Well, okay, in that case, I shall take them both out and replace one. I'll replace the top one because that's the bit of the speedo where you're normally going, isn't it? I didn't know there was two. I did ask him if there was two. I think in the newer bandits, there's only one. I've got to get this rubber thing out. You need to get the rubber thing out. They don't come out that way, do they? They've got to come out this way. Right. Okay. That's going to cause a bit of a struggle. I don't want to bust it. This is the trouble. Oh, it comes out pretty easy. There we go. Yieldy bulb. Now what I will say, I just can't actually see whether this is blown, I'm pretty sure it is. I'll put the new one in. Before I do, however, what we need is <coughs> over here a brand new clean cloth. Because what happens Knowing about lamp bubbles or light bulbs or whatever you call them, as you do, uh, what happens is you never want to touch them. I'm here, sorry. You never want to touch one with your fingers because what happens is you'll transfer grease from your fingers. Pop it onto there. Transfer grease from your fingers onto the actual lens which people think it's oh yeah and then it won't be as bright well it's not that it is kind of that it won't be as bright if it's got grease on it but what will also happen is the grease on the surface of the lamp if you get grease onto the surface of the glass um, is it going that way? I think it goes in that way and then it heats up, it gets hotter than it should get, thus causing it not to last as long. And don't bust them as you're getting them in. There we go, that's in there. So remember, don't touch light bulbs with your skin. Because they won't last as long. They won't work as well. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just flip the old LED lights on and see if we're, uh, we're working. Ooh. I need to go get another one of them now. Unfortunately. Um <coughs> my wife's gone out with the credit card. She don't have any money on me. Okay. So then it's a basic uh, simple uh, 
thing of uh, putting it back together. Reverse of how we took it apart. Happy days! Actually seeing me do something makes a bit of a change for you, doesn't it? Rather than just talking about it. Okay. Let's check the old... That goes through that bit. That goes through that bit. Like that. We're in. We have led it up the speedo. We need another one for that. But I'm going to leave my screen off, so... Uh... Leave my screen off. Um... They're in, you little bugger. Um, so I can get to the other one easy. I can never find the hole for this one. So it's as simple as that. Have a go with it. I mean, obviously, as I say, main tip: don't touch anything really. Any sort of lamp, headlamp, bulb, indicators. Don't think it'll matter with LEDs because they don't get as hot anyway. But uh, don't touch the surface of any uh, lamp that you're putting anything because. It will run hotter than it should. It'll burn the element out quicker. I'm not going to tighten. I'm not going to just nip that up just yet. I'm just going to get it in so it's comfortable. Because we need the old uh, <coughs> screw for the back. Don't forget. Take our Allen key. And we'll put that one back in. Make sure it's seated correctly, because otherwise you'll get condensation in there, as I say. Don't swing on it. And make sure it's... That's fine, that's not too tight and not too slack. I'll just nip these up now. That should do it. Perfecto, perfecto mondo. Uh, then we take our speedo cable, which is located in the speedo hall. Put one in. You. Yeah. just it's tight you don't need to go mad with it but just give it a eighth of a turn don't want it to wind off that because it will be uh, it will be bad and that's how to do the rest of it you don't obviously have to have done all the bit with the lamp that I've done uh, but that's going to be an ongoing thing so I need to put that back together again now so there we go Hope to change it. Oh, what's going on there then? Put you there again. How to change a lamp. In your speedo. Main tip, don't touch the lens of it. And uh, uh, make sure you don't get any, uh, make sure it's seated right when you put the lid back on. Otherwise you'll end up with condensation in the back of your uh, clock behind your glass. No fun. You could always smear a bit of something around the, around the edge to stop the condensation getting in if you wished. We'll see you next time, Rad Tiff. Oh.